Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. And you? I am doing great. Very happy to see you. Very happy to be here. Very glad to have another opportunity to share with all of you. To see you too. Thank you. Well, as uh, we received the message today, did you have the opportunity to, to answer and to reserve your spot for the next module? Yes. Okay. Because uh, Mr. Jason sent a message today on which uh, we had to confirm that we have sent the information for the next entry, right? Because remember that this one we are like, well, now if we don't count today, we are three, three days away to finish it. And so we need to sign up for the next one. It has been a fantastic month with you. Yeah, I was like, give me the next one. Give me the intermediate four. <laughs> the students are so fantastic, I'm going to say. Well, it, it's, it's very nice. Hello, Marta. Hello, Janet. Hello, Nubia. I know that it is exactly the time to Hello, start. Teacher. So maybe the other students are coming. They are on the, on the way to arrive. So... Um, the idea is that you pass everything. If you have passed everything over 80%, I think you don't have any any difficulty to to complete the I mean the all the the exercises and things that we have done. So you don't have to worry that much about that. Yesterday we started talking about uh, excuses, right? I would like to listen to all the excuses of the ones that are arriving late. Hmm. I am going to ask Boris. Boris Rodriguez, why are you arriving late? Uh huh, Mr. Boris. Ah, it's connecting, they say. It's connecting with the audio. There is no excuse for you not to arrive on time to the class. Mostly if it is one of the last classes. Okay, so here we go. Mr. Boris, how are you? He's still connecting. Mr. Adrian, hello. Everybody's getting nervous when I say hello to them because they are late. Uh huh. What is your excuse for you to arrive late, Mr. Adrian? Mr. Humberto, what is your excuse for arriving late? Ah, uh, you were finishing the pupusas, right? Um, um, I'm finished the dinner. Ah, you see, you were finishing your dinner, huh? Let's see. We're going to ask the next one. Let's see if we have uh -oh. another excuse. Also, also very traffic. Ah, yeah. Traveling to my the, of my job to my house. <laughs> yeah, there is a there is a lot of traffic today. Mr. Oscar Romero. If he uh, maybe he's busy right now. That's the excuse, right? Miss Catherine Bonilla, what is your excuse for arriving late? Nah, you see today, nobody has excuses. <laughs> that is the worst excuse, the silence. It's like, my hey. dog don't let me connecting. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, my dog didn't allow me to connect the audio. Aha, uh -huh, Mr. Gerardo, he appeared. Mm -hmm. what, is your, what is your excuse for arriving late? Um, sorry, I can't order some pupusas for my mom. <laughs> that is the best excuse that I have listened to today. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, everybody gives the pupusas for arriving late. <laughs> so you see, you see, teacher, I had a meeting with three pupusas that I couldn't say no. <laughs> so 
Okay, so as we were talking about this yesterday, remember the agreements of the class, right? Uh, I think you know them by, by heart so far because I always show them to you. Practice your English, be respectful, attend the classes, keep the cameras active. I know that you have finished the educational platform, so that's no problem. If you learn something new here that you can uh, go and improve in the platform, you can do it, okay? Si de repente en la clase vemos algún ejercicio que ustedes se acuerdan que lo hicieron en la plataforma y les salió, digamos, equivocado, pueden ir y corregirlo. Aún eh, todavía tenemos un poquito de tiempo para que pasen con el mejor score posible. Okay, so that's good to keep in mind. Uh, keep an active and cooperative activity in the group and that's very nice. Thank you for answering and replying the messages. Recuerden que es muy importante si de repente nos envían un mensaje de inglés corporativo, cualquiera de los encargados. Si ya lo hicimos, contestar y si no lo hemos hecho, pues ponernos a hacer rápidamente lo que nos piden porque siempre este nos funciona bien. Y creo que es bien polite el hecho de contestar cuando alguien nos envía un mensaje. Así que, thank you for the information. Thank you for the message. Oh, thank you for that. I am going to do it. Right, you can answer either in English or in Spanish. They know English and they know Spanish, so no problem. And you can practice your English as well. Yesterday we were talking about what? Tell me. Recommendation. We were talking about recommendations. Uh -huh. What else? We were talking about excuses. Excuse. Excuses, right? We're talking about excuses. Today we're going to talk about present continuous for uh, future activities. As we were talking about yesterday, when you are invited to do something, for example, I was... Uh, giving you the example yesterday. Uh, when does this module finish? Oh, sorry, I was a direct message. Okay, um, I'm going to answer for everybody. The module is going to finish on Tuesday. Tuesday, August 17. Okay, so for tomorrow, we need to be done with the platform. So let's see. I am going to answer something here. And uh, when you have a specific activity in the future, what are you going to do tomorrow at 7 p.m.? What are you doing tomorrow at 7 p.m.? 7 p.m., mm -hmm. I'm going to having dinner. I'm going to have dinner, right? Remember that if you say, I am going to, after two, have you dinner. are going to say a normal yeah. verb. I am going to have dinner. Let's see. What about the other ones? What are you going to do tomorrow at 7 p.m.? Uh -huh. Marta? Martita, what are you going to do tomorrow at 7 p.m.? Hola. Uh -huh. I can listen to you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hey, ¿dónde están mis estudiantes? You're very talkative. <laughs> Mr. Humberto, what are you going to do tomorrow at 7 p.m.? The microphone. It's, uh, no, 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 Okay, okay, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> and yeah, I know, there are, it's raining in many other parts of the country. Well, let's continue and then I'm going to ask more questions to all of you. Okay, let me see. Nubia, what are you going to do tomorrow at 7 p.m.? Um, can, I, uh, can I to see, uh, give dinner to the family? family? Okay, say, so I am going to... I am going I to. I am going to give I dinner. I am going to give dinner to the family. Excellent. Or to I'm, my family. I am going to give dinner to my family. Where I am family. going to cook dinner, right? You can use any of the two. Mr. Oscar, what are you going to do tomorrow at 7 p.m.? 
I'm going to uh, visit the doctor. You're going to visit the doctor. Okay. Uh, Sandrita, what are you going to do tomorrow at 7 p.m.? I'm going to study for the university. I am going to study for the university. Good. Mr. Manuel Sanchez, what are you going to do tomorrow at 7 p.m.? Uh, tomorrow at 7 p.m. I'm going to have a dinner. I'm going to have dinner, right? I am going to. It's a, the informal way, but it's good. You can use it when you are speaking, right? You can use it when you speak. Like when you say, I am going to have dinner. But it is better if you... Um, if you use going to, right? I am going to. It is a little bit more formal. It is a little bit more understandable. So let's continue here. This is what we were practicing yesterday, right? The different excuses for not accepting an invitation. And I said, okay, get the best excuse for you not to do something with me. You see, my dear students, I need some help to shower my dog on Saturday because I cannot do it alone. Would you like to help me? Oh, sorry, teacher, but on Saturday, I, I have to work. Okay, Janet cannot help me. Let's see. Sorry, the rest. Teacher. I, sorry, teacher, my family is my top priority. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you broke my heart. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You are not going to help me to shower the dog. Okay. So Janet and Gerardo cannot help me. Let's see the other ones. I need to shower Chiara. Right? She's a very small dog. No problem. Uh-huh. And the other ones. Mr. Uh, Adrian, can you help me to shower my dog on Saturday? On Saturday, uh, sorry, I have to work, teacher. Gosh, imagine, come on, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Adrian, you don't want to help me. <laughs> Boris Rodriguez, would you like to help me shower the dog on Saturday morning? Oh, I'm sorry, teacher. I had to visit my family <gasps> that day. I imagine that, that, well, that is more important. It's okay. I will accept your excuse. Mr. Carlos Antonio, would you like to help me shower my dog on Saturday? No, teacher. <laughs> Similar, the, the same guys. <laughs> no, teacher. <laughs> That's that's a very sincere. I, in, in this moment, I have to finish my my dinner. Okay. I don't, so... I don't know what's up in, in hey. this class. <laughs> Mr. Carlos, I was asking you for a favor on Saturday. Not did you? Yeah. That was good. It's okay. okay. We'll laugh. We'll laugh a little bit. Mr. Oscar Romero, okay. would you like to help yes. me shower my dog on Saturday oh, morning? Oh, teacher, I'm sorry. Uh, very much uh, look up. A mechanic. Oh, I take my car to the mechanic. Sorry. Imagine. Just everything is more important. Like. <laughs> everything is more important. Let's see. Mr. Miguel Ramirez, would you like to help me to complete uh, the process of showering the dog on Saturday? Oh, sorry, teacher. I play soccer. Saturday. Imagine playing soccer is more <laughs> important than helping the teacher. <laughs> it's okay. I, I work on Saturday. It's soccer, awesome, teacher. It's soccer, yeah. It's soccer, and you are a boy, so soccer and boys, it goes together. Yes. I don't know. There are there are a lot of girls who love soccer. I am not very into soccer because I can't play. It's like no, it's like ah, no. I am very bad at that. Let's see. Why? Uh, what about the idea of going dancing after the class? Would you like to go to the disco? After sorry. the class? So, sorry, I need to focus on my career. Ah, <laughs> I need to focus on my career. <laughs> That's very good. Because after the class, yeah. I have another class. So I cannot go <laughs> dancing. Let's see. Um, you know, I have a new cat. I have a new cat and I need a babysitter for the cat. Who can help me with that? 
Uh, sorry, teacher, but cats and me are, aren't friends. Oh, nah. you are going to say, I am allergic to cats. You're going to <laughs> Good. So thank you very much. I am going to, to find someone who can help me with that. Sorry. Okay, let's go over the conversation for this one. The conversation says, Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? To Galaxy Bowling? I would love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Um, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could then. We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I am going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, afterward. Maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. So in this case, he said no at the beginning because he was busy, but then he agreed on going because the time sounds perfect. Sentences that you can find here that match the structure that we are using. What was the question that I was making at the beginning of the class? And you have it right here. The question mark? Yes, what are you doing tonight? You say that it's the question that we are using in the formula with a present continuous. What are you doing tonight? It doesn't mean that what are you doing exactly on the moment because present continuous as itself it is for that, right? When you say, what are you doing? I am teaching the class, you are listening, I am working, I am writing. It's what you are doing on the moment. But in this case, it is for a future arrangement, okay? It's like, what are you doing tonight? Maybe the question is in the morning and I want to know what you are going to do that day in the night, okay? Nos referimos a un futuro próximo. Usamos present continuous para saber qué es lo que va a estar haciendo esta persona en ese momento específico que le mencionamos. Tonight, tomorrow, eh, on Monday, on Saturday, in the afternoon, right? But you are not using present continuous as we normally use it, right? Present continuous que lo usamos cuando describimos las acciones que estamos haciendo en el momento. Right? If I tell you, what are you doing right now? You say, I am listening to the teacher. I am copying the class. I am watching uh, the screen. I am checking on the class, right? Those are the activities that we are doing on the moment. It is also present continuous. But if I tell you, what are you doing tonight? ¿Qué vas a hacer esta noche? ¿O qué vas a estar haciendo esta noche? Right? And then it comes the invitation. Do you want to go bowling? What are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? You say like, I would love to. Me encantaría, but, right, mm, I can't. It's like, ish, right? You are very happy inviting a person. Says, I would love to, but I can't, right? And everything goes down. It's like if you are inviting your crush for a date and say, like, what are you doing tonight? It's like, do you want to go to a restaurant? I would love to. Y ahí te emocionas and everything. But, mm. <laughs> and then it goes down the emotion. But I can't. I am going to a soccer match with my brother. Right? It's like me asking Mr. Miguel if he wants to help me. And said, like, no, I am going to play soccer, teacher. Like, hmm. So you cannot help me anymore. Okay. And if you really want to invite the person in a different day, we can say, well, maybe some other time. Quizá en otra vez, you say. Está ahí agarrando su dignidad de vuelta. Maybe, maybe in a different time. So like, don't worry. Are you doing anything tomorrow? ¿Vas a hacer algo mañana? We could go then. Podríamos ir mañana. Tomorrow sounds fine. So you agree, you accept. I am going to work until five. In this case, you see, we are using the future. We are using the future to give us a specific information about what you are going to do. And if you say, I am going to... Remember that you need a normal verb at the end of the sentence, right? I am going to work. I am going to study. I am going to visit, okay? But you cannot say I am going to working because that's incorrect. So let's go around six. Alrededor de las seis. Okay, afterward, 
maybe we can get some dinner. What would be the meaning of afterward? Después. Exactly like that. Después o después de eso, we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Say. Let's see. And now that I have Miguel here in the class, I can ask you the question. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Um. Well, maybe some other time. Are you doing a need tomorrow? We call it good thing. Uh, tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let us uh, go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Sounds great. 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 Okay. Great. Listen to the conversation and then you can repeat with me. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Say, Miguel, Say Miguel. Miguel. what are you doing tonight? Are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? Do you, you want, want to go bowling? 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 Remember the questions. Yes, no questions. Go up, right? Do you want to go bowling? And then you go up. Do you up. want to go bowling? Want to go bowling? Do you want I to would go love bowling? to. I'd, I'd love, love, to. love to. But I can't. But, but I can't. I, can. I am going to a soccer match with my brother. I am I'm going, going to a soccer, soccer match, match, with, my match brother. Brother. with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Oh, well, well, maybe some other time. time. And in this case, you have to sound disappointed because you wanted to do something and it's not possible, right? So, oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Are you doing, Are you doing, doing anything, anything tomorrow? 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 We could go then. We could, we could, we could go then. Tomorrow, tomorrow sounds fine. Tomorrow sounds fine. fine. I'm going to work until five. I'm going, going to work, work until, until, five. until five. So let's go around six. So, so let's, let's go, go around six. six. Okay, afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Okay, okay. afterward, maybe, afterward, maybe, maybe we can, we get, can get some dinner. Can, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Sounds, Sounds great. great. Sounds great. Very good. Vanessa Rodriguez, can you help me to read the conversation with Mr. Manuel Sanchez? Yes. Hey, yeah. What are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? Mr. Manuel, go ahead. The lady is inviting you. Hello. <laughs> hey. <laughs> El visto más doloroso. Mr. Gerardo, accept the invitation. Okay. <laughs> I would love to. Uh, I'd love to, but I came. I gone to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could well, go then. Go then. Tomorrow's home fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, after work, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Excellent, very good job. Reactions for your friends. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see, Catherine Bonilla, are you there? Yes. Okay, Mr. Oscar Romero, go ahead with Catherine. Okay, ready. Go, Catherine, you invite. Okay. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I will love to, but I can. I'm going to soccer, uh, soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go down. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. okay. After war, warned, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Excellent. Very good. Reactions for your friends. Very nice. 
Excellent job. So according to the invitations that we read here, I am going to go over the grammar just a little bit for, uh, for some clarifying. And when we have here with the present continuous and you can use it with be going to. With the present continuous, you say, what are you doing tonight? Okay, what are you doing tonight? And here you have the form of the present continuous, WH, R, uh, for sure the subject, you, and the verb in the ING form, tonight. And with be going to, you say, what is she going to do tomorrow? With this one, you need to have a time expression in the end. Mr. Oscar, do you have a question? Sí, eh, me disculpo por, por detenerlo, solo si podemos regresar a la, a la lámina anterior, quería preguntarle algo, perdón. Ok, ok, don't worry, no, it's perfect. For me, it's perfect. I am here to answer all your questions. Ok, here I go in the conversation. Here it is, ajá. Uh -huh. Es en la parte donde, uh, donde, uh, okay, aquí, dice, are you, are you doing anything tomorrow? Uh -huh. We could go then. En este caso, la esta palabra then que funcionaste, we could go, we could go, we could go. Yo puedo responder simplemente eh, we could go, es decir, eh, podríamos ir, pero que funcionaste este then. Okay, entonces. Pero puede ser we could go y, y punto. Podría you ser. say like, are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go. It's like, yeah, you can do it. It's like, we could go. But if you say, we could go then, because I am asking you for a possibility of a different day. Uh, en este caso, en la conversación, uh, yo le puse una fecha y me la negó. Me dijo, no, 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 no puedo. Pero usted mismo me pregunta, eh, ¿vas a hacer algo mañana? Podríamos ir entonces. Uh, so that's the, that's the use of then in this case. It's like, ah, podríamos ir mañana entonces, right? That's what we use in Spanish. He said, like, sí. entonces podríamos ir. But it's better to say, we could go then. Podríamos ir entonces. Perfecto. And Perfecto. then you say, like, Gracias. yeah, tomorrow sounds fine. This is just for you to avoid and for you to be polite. It's like, mira, hoy no puedo, pero podemos ir mañana entonces, si puede vos. So that's Perfecto. that's a form of then in this sentence. But it's good. Okay. And also, I was going to explain this one when you say, say, Miguel. Like, when you say, like, say, the C. But it's like, uh, what, for example, in Spanish, you have like, entonces, Miguel, or, pues sí, Miguel. That's uh -huh. the use of say. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? It's like, cuando llegamos a alguien así, le llegamos de repente y, pues sí, oh, ¿qué onda? Mira, uh -huh. uh, what are you doing tonight? That's to break the ice of an invitation, right? I don't know why you always get nervous when you are going to make an invitation. It, it happens to everybody. It's like, ah, and then you think, and maybe it might be sí, que no, que no, okay. So it is kind of complicated. So this one is for you to break the ice, like, like to use, hey, hey, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? So you can say, say, in this case. So that was another tip that I wanted to, that Thank I wanted to, to clarify. And that was, that it was a very good question. Very good question for everybody. And the next one. Okay, we were here, right? We were here. And with the going to, I was explaining that you need to have a time expression. When you say, what are you doing tonight? Remember with present continuous, you have a time expression here. And also with be going to, you need to have also a time expression. What are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing tonight? What are you doing on Friday? What are you doing this weekend? What are you doing next week? Uh, it's very common that we plan about things that are coming. And I can ask you, hey, what are you going to do? Uh, next Sunday, maybe you have plans already. So like, oh, teacher, I'm going to go to the beach. I am going to clean the house, teacher. I am going to uh, wash the car. I am going to watch a movie. I am going to watch the soap opera. I don't know what you are going to do. So uh, that is the form of questions. And what I want to make clear is that this use of present continuous and be going to is to make future plans, okay? To talk about things that are going to happen in the near future, okay? And it says, what are you doing tonight? I am going to a soccer match. What are you, what is she doing tomorrow? She is going to work until five. What is the teacher going to do tomorrow at 8 p.m.? 
uh -huh. teacher's going to be with us. The teacher is going to be with us, right? In the class, God willing, right? God willing means, si Dios permite. God willing. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Are you doing anything tomorrow at 8 p.m.? Yes. Yes, what are you going to do? We'll, we'll, we're going to be at, at the class with you. We're going to be in the class, right? Are they going to go bowling? Are the two people in the conversation going to go bowling? Do you remember? Yes no. or no? Are they going to go bowling? The two people in the conversation? This one, my friends. Let's see. Here. Are they going to go bowling? No. Oh, yes. Uh -huh, it is. <laughs> they are going to go because it says, are we doing anything day? tomorrow? We could go then, right? Podemos ir entonces. Yes, they are going to go the next day. Right, so this is important. And for example, here, the time expressions you can have right now. Are you doing anything right now? Yes, I am in class, right? Are you doing anything after class? Are you doing anything later at night? Are you doing anything tomorrow, tomorrow in the afternoon or tomorrow night, right? Those are the time expressions that you can use when you create the sentences. And for sure, the different um, characteristics characteristics that you have in the question, the WH word, the verb to be, the subject, and for sure, the ING form. So it is important that you follow the pattern for you to complete the sentence. What is she going to do tomorrow, right? What, and in this case, you have the verb to be, you have the subject, you have going to, right? And the verb and the time expression. So here, if you follow this structure, y aquí quiero que lo hagamos todos. Si seguimos esa estructura, what are you doing tonight? I need you to create a new sentence. Just change the time expression, for example. And give me another example. What are you doing Where? tomorrow? Yeah, on Friday. What are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing on Friday? Uh -huh. What are you doing this Sunday? Next. What are you doing on Sunday? What are you doing the next week? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What are you doing next Saturday? What are you doing next Saturday? Right? And if I tell you, I am going to go to the beach. Aha. Uh -huh. You can say, um, or imagine that in the next month, you say, like, I am going to go to the beach. You can tell me. Another question here, a follow-up question. Say, when are you going, going. to go? Mm. ¿Cuándo vas a ir? Ah, I am going to go uh, next Saturday. Aha, and you want more information and you tell me, what time are you going to leave? ¿A qué horas te vas? What time are you going to leave? Ah, oh, at seven in the morning. Aha, and you want more information. Who are you going? I'm going to fix it here. Where, who are you going with? Con quien vas? Who are you going with? This is, looks like the FBI, right? You need more and more information. FBI, right? yeah. <laughs> the FBI is like, where are you going? Who are you going with, right? Ya parecemos novio tóxico. Who are you going with? Hi, I am going with my friends. Hmm. Uh, you say Which who? One? Uh -huh. Who is going to drive? Because you don't drive. Who is going to drive? Uh, my friend Paquito. Huh? And where are you going to go with Paquito? Right. And then you can continue asking more and more questions. Right. Why are you going to go with him? Uh huh. Give me an answer. You are a married lady. What are you going to do uh, at the beach with Paquito? Right? Ah, no. Because so? Paquito knows to, to drive and I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> because Paquito can drive and I can't, right? Uh -huh. And you say, when are you going to come back? 
when are you going to come back? The next day, you say, hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How are you going to answer that to your husband, right? This like, man is killer. Ah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now imagine if, if your wife starts telling you like, I'm going to go to the beach with Paquito and blah, blah, blah. And we're going to come back the next day. Hmm. In the maleta, you are going to... <laughs> <laughs> so these are with all those chivas. yeah with all your chivitas okay let's go to the beach <laughs> you invite and yourself then, and where <laughs> and uh -huh. where are you going to stay where to do stay exactly that's a very good question very good where are you going to uh -huh. where are you going to stay where are you going to stay and the most important question is like ah oh, yeah in, in a house that it's there and there is only one bed. Uh -huh. Where are you going to sleep? You say, I, I, on the floor. Mm -hmm. you say, Where are you going to sleep? Right? And we can continue asking more and more and more questions. Do you see? With the same structure, creating one question, you can have a lot of follow-up questions. This is like the FBI, right? Please don't be like that, okay? Si su esposa o su esposo quiere salir con sus amigos, vaya con él. <laughs> Good recommendation. Or maybe it can end on divorce. Yeah, if we continue asking questions like this one, this can end up divorcing. So, no. <laughs> And you can answer the same the same questions. Uh, you can answer, right, with, for sure, going to, right? Where are you going to go? I am going to go to the beach. What time are you going to leave? I am going to leave at four. And then you can continue answering all the questions. Is it clear how we use this structure for the future? ¿Nos queda claro cómo utilizarla para crear preguntas con un futuro cercano? So I'm going to start like the FBI. Uh -huh. When are you going to finish the platform? When are you going to send me the picture? Uh -huh. Who are you going to study with? And I'm going to continue asking more and more and more questions. Well, for this one, I had the, the video prepared, but as I explained all the structure, we are going to go uh, over. This is the same explanation that I just did about the, the near future, okay? So that's why um, I am going to skip it because I explained everything about it. And uh, when you create questions here, we have, for example, this uh, sentence right here. How would you create this sentence that I have here as an example using the previous structure? What are you going are to you do tonight? What are you what are going you to doing? do tonight or what are you doing tonight, right? The two forms are possible. Uh, what are you doing tonight or what are you going to do tonight? Uh, would you like to go out? And then you have the, the next one. If you have a space at the beginning, for sure you are going to start with um, R, right? So how are you going to complete the second one? Are you doing anything? Are you doing, doing anything? Are you doing on Friday night? Do anything? Okay, you can say, when... are you doing anything on Friday night? Or if you want to complete it, like what are you, are you doing on Friday night? But in this case, the best form to complete it is, are you doing anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? And the next one? We're going to have friends. Over for a barbecue on Sunday. Would you and your parents like to come? In this case, when you say like, we are having friends over for a barbecue on Sunday, it's possible we are having, van a venir, vamos a tener, or we are going to have friends over for a barbecue on Sunday. Would you like, will you and your parents like to come? What about the next one? Are you staying? Are you staying in town next weekend? Are you staying in town next weekend? Do you want to go for a hike, right? Are you staying in town next weekend? ¿Te vas a quedar en el, en el pueblo? ¿Te vas a quedar en la ciudad en la próxima semana? It's like, do you want to go for a hike? In this case, town would be pueblo, right? Imagine if you, that we live in Suchitoto. The next one. So we have here, 
I. I going to. I am going to be. I'm going to be. I am going to be. I am going to be here Saturday. on Saturday. Good, but not Sunday. Let's try and but go on Sunday. Saturday. What about letter B? Well, my father is going to visit. Ah, very good. My father is going to visit. My father is going to visit my brother at college, but my mother and I. Going to be home. I and I am going to be. Are ah, going if you have my, but my mother, mother and, and I are I, being home. Oh, okay. In this home. case, you have the verb to be. You say, but my mother and I are going to be. Are my mother and I are going to be home. I'm we would to love home. to come. Okay. And the next one. Sorry, I can't. I. I I'm going, going to, to work. work. I'm going. I am to going to work. Going to work. Or I oh, am. I'm working. Exactly like that. So I am going to work, or I am working overtime tonight. How about tomorrow night? Can we go to a late show? I. I am staying. I'm staying. Very good. I'm staying till seven. Office. I am yeah. staying at the office till seven. Right. Excellent. So let's see if we have very good retentive memory. Teacher, what is till? Till, hasta. Okay. Hasta tarde, you say. Let's see. Nubia, can you help me with the first one? I know you remember it. Uh, what are going, what are you going to do tonight? Would you like to go out? Excellent. Let's see. Vanessa, can you go with number two? Are you, are you doing everything you Excellent. Very good. Mr. Adrian, number three. We are we going to have frame our, our for a barbecue on Sunday. Would you and your parents want to come? Good. Very good. Evelyn when Mariela. You, oh, finish, finish. Uh, would you and your parents like to come? Very good. Evelyn Mariela, number four. Okay. Briselda? Are you staying in town next weekend? You want ah. to go for a hike? Very good job. Very good job. Sandra, the next one. Let me move it on. Go ahead. Number, oh, well, letter A. I'm going to be here on, on Saturday, Saturday, but not on Sunday. Let's try it and go on Saturday. Excellent job, very good. Let's see, we're going to go with Mr. Boris, are you there? Of course. Letter B. Letter B, okay. Well, my father is going to visit my brother at college, but my mother and I, go are, and I are going to be at home. Mm -hmm. We love to come. Excellent job, Mr. Gerardo. Let her see. Sorry, I can't. I working. I am working. Uh -huh. I'm going working over time. Over time tonight. How about tomorrow night? Very good. And Mr. Oscar, finish with letter D. Can we go to lay show? I going to stay at the office till seven. Very good job. Excellent. Thank you for my volunteers, the Democratic volunteers. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I am volunteering. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> Excellent job. So here uh, I am going to continue with the next one. When you receive an invitation, if I say, for example, are you doing anything tomorrow? The next thing that you are going to mention is the invitation. Would you like to go with me to a dance? Would you like to go to my house to have dinner? Would you like to go watch a movie? 
right? That's the second thing that we're going to have. After asking the availability of the person, then it going, it's going to come the invitation. So in this case, it's like, would you like to go out on Friday? And you have three options of answering. How can you answer? Yes, I would. Yes, I would love to, thanks. Or yes, I would really like to go. These are the affirmative answers. And these ones are the kick ones, the ones that you say like, oh, yes, 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 yes. And you make everything happy, but then push, sad. I would like to, but I have to work. I would like to, but I need to save money. I would like to, but I want to visit, uh, what is the compliment? My parents. To agree, you have these three. And these ones are for you to disagree on the invitation. What is the meaning of the contraction? I would, right? I would. And you say like, I would like to come. I would like to come. I, I would like to come. Yes, Mr. Oscar, tell me. Sí, eh, si nosotros en nuestra conversación diaria utilizamos contracciones o, o también podemos utilizar el I would, eso en una conversación normal, ¿cómo se oye? Es decir, yo puedo pronunciar la, la contracción, I'll, o puedo uh -huh. decir, I will. ¿Eso yes. hace alguna diferencia cuando tú estás conversando con alguien? Uh, yes, it makes a difference because, uh, well, I never, well, in my personal opinion, I don't recommend people to use contractions because first, it's informal, and the second one, it's a... Uh, not really clear for the listener. When you are uh, listening and you are starting in the language, it's better if you use the complete forms. But if you feel comfortable at using the structures in the contractions and they sound clear, then you can use it. In writing, I never recommend to use uh, contractions because it's a little bit informal. But when you are speaking and you feel comfortable and you know that it's going to sound clear, you say, I would like to. And you know that the I will, the contraction that you make, it sounds I would like to. But if you say I'd like to, you say like it can be I have, for example, and the person's going to like, huh? So I think it's it's a matter of feeling comfortable and making the correct sound when you make the con the contraction. If you make the contraction correctly, it can help you to express a little bit more fluent. Okay. Yeah, Thank but you. in writing, I think I will omit it. I really like to write in the complete and correct way, like I would. But if you make the sound correctly, no problem. Okay. So this is the form of the invitation. Would you like to go on Friday to accept and to decline? Let's see. I have some situations here. How are you going to complete this sentence? I have tickets to the basketball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? You can accept or refuse. Baseball. Yes, I would. Yes, I would, you say. Uh, yes, I would. I would like to, but I not, I not like the play. Hey, imagine. I would like to, but I don't like to play or I don't like baseball ish. Ah. Sorry. Let's see. I have another invitation. Would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Of course, teacher. <laughs> I am a very good chef. I, I have will. To admit. I, I will. Yes. Yeah. It's the menu. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can, I can cook everything. Now with the pandemic, I learned everything. The pupusas, tacos, torta, whatever you want to eat, hamburgers, pizza, whatever. I can cook whatever. anything. So would you like to come over for dinner? I just have one guest. Only Carlos is coming. The other ones <laughs> don't eat. Don't eat. See, my husband doesn't allow me to go out. I, my wife doesn't <laughs> permit me to go. And it's good. <laughs> it's good. No, but you can you can bring you can bring your wife or your husband. Don't worry. The next one. Would you like to go to a pop concert with me this weekend? Yes. I'm going to go to to yes. the, the Backstreet Boys concert. I like it. 
Uh, yes, I like it. Okay. Would you like to go to a Temerarios no. concert with me on, on this weekend? No. <laughs> hey, come no. on. Sorry, sorry, teacher, sorry. I can't. Sorry, sorry teacher, I, I have to I show ha I have work. a problem with my hair. No, no. <laughs> Good. Would you would you like to go to a to a let's see to a salsa contest with me this weekend? It's going to be there in El Sombrero Azul. No. Of course. Okay, Oscar. Oh, yes, you have your hand up. Or do you want to come to the dinner yeah. too? Okay, uh, teacher. Uh, my question is, uh, a ver. Uh, would you like number two? Uh -huh. Would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Uh, the word over, what the function in the sentence? Bueno, what is the function? Uh, would you like, I can say, would you like to come for dinner? Yes, you can say, would you like to come for dinner? But when you mention, would you like to come over? It means that it's going to be in my house. Okay. Yes, I mean, over. Okay. okay. If you say, like, would you like to, if I tell you, would you like to go out for dinner tomorrow night? It means that it's going to be in a restaurant. Okay. But if I say, place. but if I say, aha, uh -huh. if I say, would you like to come over? Come over, it means to come to my house. Okay, thank you. It's like when you say, when you have a pajama party, for example, when we were teenagers, woo, 10 in years ago. Okay. <laughs> I am Very going good. to have a sleepover, you say. I'm going to have a sleepover. It means that you are going to sleep in your friend's house. Right? Very good. Yeah, cuando Thank éramos you. jóvenes allá por hace como 10 años atrás. Que podían hacer esas cosas de pijamadas y etc. Now, five, no. Five years. Once upon a time. <laughs> once upon a time. I remember, there was once, one time in my life I remember. <laughs> yeah, I think, no, but because we are from the, we are from the I old just, school right now. Only. <laughs> no, you cannot go, go out. I did all. it only once for one time in my life. Oh, really? The sleepover? Only one time in your life? Yeah, only, ah. only one time. I did it many times because my house was the the main Sad. site for all my, my friend, my girl friends to come, right? If you say girlfriend, it's another meaning. But if you say my girl friends, todas mis amigas, chicas, to go and sleep over in my house. And my mother will say, ¿Que no tienen casa? And so like, nah. <laughs> yeah, mom, I love you <laughs> if you watch this video. So uh, these are the ways of inviting someone, right? Remember first you check on availability. Are you doing something today, tomorrow, next Friday, next week? And then you send the invitation. Would you like to go out? Oh, no, sorry. Now, thanks to COVID-19, we can say, no, I am very sorry. It's because of the pandemic. And then you don't go. Now it's the moment for you to invite me to do something. And there you have the answer. Yes, I would love to. Thank you. That would be my answer. Invite me to do something. First, mm -hmm. check availability, then the invitation, and then I am going to give you that answer. The first one. Let's use the first one for this exercise. For sure, I am like going to, to accept. For example, would you like to go to the beach the next uh, weekend? Uh -huh, but first, check availability. Okay. Primero revisen si tengo que hacer algo el fin de semana. <laughs> Yes. Um, How are, are you doing? What are you doing next? What are you doing? Okay. Next are weekend. Doing next weekend. Nothing. I am free. Okay. Would now the like, invitation. Uh huh. Would you like to go to the to the beach on um, weekend? For sure. Alex, can I go to the beach? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All so, family. Ah, uh, with the family. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm I, I, I rent the bus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I have only a three member family, so it's a very cool thing. Good, so that's the idea check availability first and then send the invitation. Mm -hmm. Okay, another okay, volunteer. Okay. Another volunteer. If not, I will start with the Democratics. I, well, I, what are you doing tonight? What are you doing tonight? You well, do um, after 10, would you nothing. Like to, would, would you like would you mm. like to go to the movies? 
Yeah, I would love to. Thank you. Yeah, at 12. <laughs> Excellent. I am going to go with you, Jen. Mm -hmm, okay. I am going to go to the movies, to the beach. Okay. Uh huh. Where else? Let's go. Let's do it. Uh huh. Invite me to do something else. I am going to choose on Sandra. Sandra, create an invitation. Go ahead. Uh, what are you doing the Friday Friday night? On um, Friday night, I'm not doing anything. Would you like to go to be in a concert, uh, Rock? Uh, for sure, I would love to. Thanks. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go to a rock concert. Mr. Gerardo, create an invitation. Uh, what are you doing uh, the next weekend? The next weekend, I have to go to the beach with uh, with Carlos. <laughs> Would you like to go to Mont to climb mountain? Uh, yes, but I am available the next one. Is okay. it okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because okay. this this weekend we have to go to the beach. <laughs> yeah, go, go. <laughs> But yes, Gerardo, we can go the next one. Okay, we can go the next weekend. Let's okay. see, Mr. Humberto, create an invitation. Okay. What are you doing the next Sunday? Next Sunday uh, at night, I am going to be here because on the weekend, I am going to be on the beach. Okay, no, in the morning. Ah, in the morning, I am going to be there in, in the beach. Would you like to go with us? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I end up inviting you. May I? Can I go with you? you see? Can Remember, I, I rent the bus, no problem. <laughs> so we're going to take all the class, all the class we're going to take all it there. Class. Okay. So yeah. I end up I end up inviting you. So yeah. Carlos will you remember Humberto. <laughs> You, are, you yeah, remember, Carlos. put your, your mask, please. <laughs> yeah, please, because now we are more than 10 in the in the cluster. Please. <laughs> yes, let's yes. see. Nubia, create an invitation. Uh, what are you doing uh, this Sunday? Uh, I am going to be in the beach with Humberto <laughs> and his family and Carlos and his family. <laughs> and, and the Saturday? Uh, we're going to be on the beach too. Do you, would you like to come? And, to come and, with us? Uh, and the next week, and the, the next, next week? the next weekend, I am in the mountains with Gerardo. With Gerardo, yes. Uh, the next month. Uh -huh, the next month, I'm free. It's my birthday, so I'm free. Really? <laughs> yes. oh, okay. It's the most, yeah, the most patriotic Angel. day of okay. the of the month. Fifteen. Yes. <laughs> Yes, yes. Oh, September, September. September. September I am I am very independent. <laughs> All the countries celebrated to you. For sure. And I always have vacation. That's the cool thing. So Nubia, next month, what are we going to do? Uh, would you like to go to the um, the Sumal? Hey, yes, I, well, I am from Chalchuapa, so I would like to go to El Tazuma. <laughs> Tazuma. Hey. And we're going to eat yuca <laughs> right in front. Yuca. Ah, delicious. Very good. Yeah, Chalchuapa is not paying me anything for this commercial, but they have the best pupusas and the best yuca of El Salvador. Visit Chalchuapa. They are not paying me yes. anything for this commercial. <laughs> 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 let's see. Thank you. So let's go to El Tazuma <laughs> to eat some yuca. Let's see. The last invitation is going to come from Mr. Miguel Ramirez. Go ahead. What are you doing tomorrow? Tomorrow nine at tomorrow, nine o'clock in the morning. In the night. Ah, in the night. I have a class. Ah, but what are you going to do? Let's see. Okay. Uh, what is the invitation? But I am free on Friday. After, After class. class. No, Friday you have yes. a, a <laughs> rock concert. Yes, rock. Exactly. I have a rock concert. Class. Right? She's, she's with Friday. me. Yeah, I have class. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, what Friday. about what about Friday? I am free. No, no, no. I am free on Friday afternoon. 
Oh, yes. Friday afternoon. What is the invitation? Going to a movie. Hey, yes, I can go to a movies and then I can go to a rock concert. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I have never had this uh, many action in my life until today. Ah. Avengers. Thank you. Hey, let's go and watch Avengers. Right, the one that is like eight hours. It's too late. Yes. yes. Okay, thank you very much for all these invitations, right? No había hecho tantas cosas en como en tres años. That would be nice. That would be very nice to go and have all these experiences yeah. with you. And remember, we are going to the beach with Mr. Carlos Antonio in an excursion, yeah. in a trip. We're going to go on a trip, all the class <laughs> for <laughs> next weekend. Okay, so yes, I am going well. to finish. I am going to finish the, the day with this little agenda. You see, now I have all the days busy because for sure there are a lot of things to do. According to the calendar, we have, for example, here, we have that uh, Anna, this is the calendar of Anna, and she's going to visit, uh, on Sunday morning, she's visiting the Forest Green Historical Park, uh, Historic Park, okay? So for tomorrow, I need you to prepare, what is she going to do in the next days, okay? So this is going to be your little homework. I am going to give you some time for you to screenshot the, the calendar and then for tomorrow please that will be the first exercise that we're going to do you are going to tell me the other activities that Anna is going to have during the rest of the week okay as soon as you have the screenshot let me know I am going to uh, to leave it there for you to screenshot it you can send it on the group thank you and for tomorrow I need you to have the rest of the sentences ready Okay, so that will be all for today, my dear students. I am going to see you tomorrow in the next class. Remember, you have this mini, mini, mini homework. Okay. One, two, three, okay. four, five, six sentences. Okay, that's for you to practice. Have a beautiful it, it, night. Yes. Teacher, one question. Question me. Uh, the last Thursday, the last Thursday is the last class. Next Tuesday, yes. Next Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Mm. Okay, I'm thank going you. to cry. <laughs> okay, so I am going to see you in the next class. Remember to continue preparing, to continue working, finish working on the platform is necessary. And I am going to see you in the next time. Have a beautiful night. See you. Yeah. See you, teacher. See you, teacher. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. 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 Good night.